These are my records. I have been buying records for over 40 years. Let's see what one is next in the collection. Ah, Futura 2000. He was a graffiti writer. Pretty advanced for his time. Still has a career doing it. This is called uh, Futura 2000. And the back album art was done by him. And it actually is a four-part piece of art. And the other three pieces supposedly kind of fit to this. So I guess it was one painting that was made into four back album covers for other artists. As you can see the 2000 here, I think he's dropped that from his name now. He just calls himself Futura. They say that this cellophane kind of can shrink around and ruin a record, but I thought it was fine, I just take it off. So Super Maxi 45, just means it's a 45 RPM on a 12 inch. And he's standing in front of another one of his pieces and the music is composed and performed by The Clash, backing him up because he worked and his escapades, well, it's all one name, it's Futura 2000 and his escapades is the name of the record. He um, did some graffiti work for The Clash when they were in town in New York. And on this side is the rap version of the song. And on the other side is more of a, a dub version and uh, both are The Clash playing in the background kind of produced by The Clash I think this is a second pressing because on the original ones they were handwritten um, titles on the actual record label anyways he painted for The Clash as well I think he painted some other boom boxes and he definitely painted a big sign that they hung off the outside of uh bonds in New York. Let's see what's next. Ah, Super Duper Duck Breaks. This is relevant, even though this album's from 2000. Uh, in the last episode, number five, we looked at Buffalo Gals, which was a 12-inch off of Duck Rock, which is seen here on the boombox. Uh, this is uh, DJ Babu and it samples a lot of that album, the full-length album, uh, Duck Rock. And that is, there's that PMX 9000 again, and a couple tables. And this is a great record with some break beats and whatnot. I think there's some scratching sections. And it's a part of a series, I think there's four of them. There's Duck Breaks, there's Super Duper Duck Breaks, and a couple others. And they're on the Stone's Throw label, which is, I believe, partially owned by... Um, LP from Run the Jewels. You can see the Keith Herring type art and Stone's Throw label. I don't know that the songs are actually named, but a lot of it comes from old school hip hop and whatnot samples. And uh, it's a good little record. I like it. And it's going to come in to play again at the end of this episode with some of the other records that it's associated with in this episode. Well, put this one away. See what comes up next. Ah, no titling on the outside. Uh, two copies. This is New Order, and it's meant to look like a big diskette, and I don't even think it's a 144 diskette. I think it's a full-size diskette. It's supposed to look like that's why the sleeve inside is flat black, matte black, kind of like color. That's a good record. I used to break dance to this was pretty groundbreaking. On this side, you'll see the first song, which is Blue Monday. And on the other side, the song is The Beach. Both great songs. Yeah, I've got two copies. The other one isn't as good condition for the sleeve, but plays just as good. I'll put it away. These are, most of my records are in genre, chronological, and then alphabetical. 
What's this? Who's got next? Oh, Malcolm McLaren. Again, song is Soweto, 12 inch, but actually it has three songs, I think, with the uh, McLarenettes. Soweto, Zulu's on a time bomb, and Do You Like Scratching? The really interesting thing about this record, other than being a 12 inch from Duck Rock, is that a man named Trevor Horn produced it and also apparently scratched on it. If you don't know him by name, he was in Yes for a little while, I believe, or Genesis, one of those bands, but he was the lead singer of The Buggles, who did the song Video Killed the Radio Star. You can see the world famous DJ Supreme team here with Malcolm McLaren and some dancers. The record itself has this artwork from Keith Haring, who was a, a contemporary of Futura 2000, and they actually were in shows together in uh, New York back in the early days of when graffiti started getting popularized for sale in galleries as opposed to being illegal under bridges and on walls and subways. And he has his own distinct look to his style. Not exactly stickman, but very uh, basic. I believe he's also friends with Jean-Michel Basquiat. So that's how you say it. Let me know in the comments below. Click someone. Uh, Malcolm so McLaren. So here it is. Famous DJ Malcolm Supreme McLaren. Team Duck Rock. Trevor Horn. Uh, again with the Keith Haring artwork in the background and this boombox that's been very customized. Kind of reminds me of um, Quadrophenia mods Vespas and Lambrettas. It's some pretty good wild style type graffiti letter style there and some dancers and there's a skipping rope song double dutch on this and Zulu's on a time bomb a bunch of other songs I'll leave links in the uh, description obviously and uh, to the videos and to the producers and whatnot the uh it's hard to remember now, but at the time when this came out, it wasn't just hip hop, it was a lot of people have sampled this for years. And it's not just hip hop, it's other forms of music that it could almost be considered a compilation album of other bands and just kind of produced or finessed by Malcolm McLaren and his musical background and ability. Great record. Again, I'll leave all these links in the description below. Uh, let me know if you do have an experience with this record or what you think about some of the links that I've sent for the whole video. Uh, this is episode six of season one. See you next time. These are my records.